kitamu kama kumsupport mwenzako and there's nothing good like if you have already been blessed and you just have to support one another and today tumefika hapo daughters of Kenya tuko na amazing beautiful looking beautiful ladies hapa we just want to talk up to them watuambie about this organization mbona wanataka kuungana nao tukianza na mama mambo poa sana nataka utueleze ukiangalia pale kwenye kamera unaitwa nani na mbona umeamua kujoin organization mimi naitwa Anna Fandi na mimi kitu imefanya nikakuwa inspired ku nini kujoin organization mm -hmm ni ile nataka kulan kitu new kama hiyo kushona hizo ma handbags mm -hmm. eh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na before u join hii sasa hivi unafanya hustle gani nafanya tu hustle kibarua tu hapa na pale mm -hmm. mm -hmm. na nilisikia una watoto wawili hao watoto wawili una maintain vipi mm -hmm. kile kenye napata ndio mm -hmm. kina niwezesha kuwalea Eh. So kwa ke huyu anasema kwamba ana watoto wawili na ki, akipata nafasi kuingia kwenye hiyo organization utapata kwamba amefaidika kimaisha na bado atapata kusapoti watoto wawili. Mambo poa waitwa nani? Alisha Chie. Mhm. Uh -huh. Kuna watoto wawili. Uh -huh. Na naona nikiingia kwa hii mradi inaweza inaweza toka na mono leji lenye siku anayo. Nataka uangalie pale kwenye kamera. Acha nigeuku. Aha, wazajishikia bado. Haipo tu sawa sawa. Aha. Naona nikiingia kwa hii mradi ya kushona, naweza toka na mono knowledge pia naweza jifungulia biashara yangu mimi mwenyewe. Eh, tanisaidia. Na je, kuna siku yote ambayo unatamani ukwe na your own company ya fashion ama ufungue shop yako ya tailoring. Eh naweza tamani kukuwa na shop yangu ama company hata mahali ukinisikie mtu akivangua anasema hii design ni ya Pamela. Mm -hmm. Naweza jivunia sana. Mm -hmm. Naitwa Pamela Wasuda. Mm -hmm. eh. Na Pamela nikuuliza tu swali moja. Uh, hapa place ambayo mnaishi. Masaibu gani ambayo mnapitia kama nyinyi wasichana? Uh, wasichana wanapitia masaibu mengi like for example kama kuna young mothers wenye wamezaa wakiwa wadogo na unapata kukosa do inafanya uh, wasichana wanategemea wanaume ama boyfriends cuz unapata mimi naweza tegemea boyfriend wangu ndio watoto wa kule ama nategemea boyfriend ndio watoto ndio mimi mwenyewe nipate pads so at least nikikuwa na kitu naweza tegemea kama biashara ama ni jua kushona niweze kujishonea vitu kama hivi hata kama sitakuwa naenda mahali job na at least nashone hata kwa nyumba na napeana na uza mahali at least nita an kidogo niweze kufeed watoto na hata pads sitaitisha boyfriend na pia wa boyfriend ataona pia umuhimu wangu sababu pia wanaume wanakuheshimu wakati pia wewe unajitegemea unajua wanasema ngapi wanasema kwamba wanawake wengi hakuna kitu ambacho wanaletanga kwenye meza wanaleta ngono tu ni kweli si ukweli labda nitaleta ngono kama sina ujuzi wowote ama sina kazi yoyote nitaleta ngono ndio nipate pesa unaona kwa sababu kuna wale wanafanya ngono kama biashara lakini nikiwa na skill ama kazi yenye nafanya hata nunua chumvi mimi ni nunue sukari si tutaheshimiana katika hiyo hata kama ni relationship ama ni ndoa juu akinunua unga mimi ni nunue mchele si atafurahia na pia huyo hizi toka kutoka hizi taka kutoka kwa hiyo relationship ndio anaona anasaidiwa next time akipata maybe kazi iishe anajua nyumba italipwa watoto watakula na yeye pia atakuwa kwa hiyo hesabu ya kula eh na nikuuliza swali la mwisho hapa mahali ambapo mnaishi kuna hizi cases za violence zenye ambazo unapata kwamba bwana anachapa bibi ama boyfriend anachapa girlfriend hadi unapata wakati wengine hadi unapata wanaoana Uh, violence iko na ni nyingi i place tunaishi sababu unapata mwanamke juu hana kitu anafanya huyo mwanaume anajua yeye ndio kila kitu so anaweza mpiga kwa sababu anataka ngono ama anampiga juu amemuitisha kitu maybe umemuitisha chakula umemwambia watoto hawajakula atakupiga juu yeye anaona ni kama unamtegemea sana anakuwa kama liability kwa hiyo relationship. So violence ni mob, sexual, physical zina happen tu. Lakini tunanyamaza kwa sababu 
unasema huu mtu ndiye ananiprovidea so mbona ni mseme unaona so na prefer a provide kuliko ni mripoti ashikwe ama kitu kimfanikie yeah so mkingia kwenye organization utapata kwamba hizo vitu zitakuwa zimepungua kama mbaya violence unapata kwamba pia msichana anaweza kujitegemea si kila saa ambapo unapata kwamba lazima tutegemee our men si ndio sasa tukimalizia hapa uh, utengia kwenye organization na itakusaidia si ni kweli lakini wewe mwenyewe wakati utapata ready isha kusaidia wewe em yako ni gani kwa organization unaweza tamani kusaidia watu wengine pale nje ukuja kufanikiwa Eh naweza nataka kusaidia wengine. Jua uwezi kuwa na skill peke yako na usisaidie rafiki yako. Ni must upate hiyo skill na wewe usaidie rafiki yako kama kama young mother mwenzako. Ni must usaidie mwenzako. Na ni challenges gani ambazo unaona lazima utazipitie ukiingia kwa organization? Challenge. Mm -hmm. Challenge ni mingi. Mhm. Mm Juu Sometimes najua mtu kama mimi sometimes naitiwa nguo job mchana hiyo mm -hmm. masaya ya asubuhi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sasa unaona hiyo challenge ndakuwa nayo juu sitaweza anga kwa hivyo venye naitiwa nguo asubuhi natoka oh. sitaweza ni must niende kwanza niingie class mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sawa Asante. Ah uh, kuna yule ambaye anataka kuzungumza chochote ndipo sasa tuone. Eh, hey, yule nakwambia direct yule anakataa. Yule sasa ndiye atatuambia asanteni kwa kuja huku ama vipi si ndio? Naha. Mama, nataka tu useme jina, uambie organization asante wamekukuja huku. <laughs> <laughs> kwa majina naitwa Lucy Wanjiko. Mimi nilikuwa natamani kujua kushona hizi bag ni vinya siku na hiyo chance mm -hmm. na siku na mtu wa kuniambia ti pale wanafunza watu hivyo mm -hmm. sana hizo sema asanti kwa kuja mmefanya mm -hmm. poa kukam mtusaidie sana 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 na nimewashukuru tu sana mm -hmm. tume kubali ya ya shukurani Aha. So tukimalizia director pale nilikuwa nataka huyu binti hapa tuambie jinsi mko wasichana hapa hivi apart from uh, nyinyi kuambiana kuna kazi pale nataka tuende uh, asha kata <laughs> Mama utamsaidia kujibu hiyo Acha huyu amsaidie kujibu <laughs> Alisha kata hapa jinsi ambavyo mnaishi Mko na organization kama kikundi kidogo tu hivi cha wasichana ambacho mnajifunza kama mambo ya wasichana. Niko. Kenya tunajua ni hakuna nyingine isipokuwa hapa ya teen seed mm -hmm. ile inafundisha young mothers na teenage na teenagers. Mm -hmm. Inawasaidia vipi? Mm, kama ma teenagers inawasaidia place ya kujua early pregnancies ku avoid hizo mali pregnancies mm -hmm. na unprotected unprotected sex mm -hmm. na jinsi ya kutumia pads mm -hmm. eh mm. alright so kitu ambacho nime nimesikia hapa ni kwamba mwanamke ni mwanamke jasiri na ni mwana, mwanamke ni mwanamke bomba so The organization it is going to support these young ladies hapa and in future i know mtakuwa someone better sindio utakuwa na your own fashion utakuwa na your own shop yenye utakuwa una brand kitu unasema kwamba hii brand ni yangu si hivyo huyo analia ama aha uh -huh. hii brand hii brand ni yangu so mimi nawatakia kila laheri na asanteni sana kwa kujumuika na Mtembei TV in station number 1 ambao tunaendelea kukuletea burudani tunaendelea kukuleta mazungumzo hadi wakati mwingine asanteni easy to do in our eyes but it need skills inahitaji kujituma inahitaji kujitahidi and what am i talking about i am talking about tailoring in daughters of kenya it is mtembei tv station number 1 ambao tunaendelea kukuletea mazungumzo ya kufana langu jinani ni jitabi suleiman mambo wow. nataka kuja hapa karibu ndo tuzungumze unaitwa nani naitwa lidia mbone mbone aha ulijipataje hapa daughters of kenya okay mimi mimi 
nilikuwa naishi Ushago alafu all of a sudden nikaitwa na relative ni kuja Nairobi na since I was in Ushago nilikuwa ngana ile passion ya kushona mm. I could do fashion with dolls na under dolls na fashionia so my, my, niko na shina grandma akaniambia ndio unapenda kushona you can do this and become someone mm-hmm. so when mm-hmm. i was in nairobi i was to join bifas you know bifas mm-hmm. school, school of design mm-hmm. but nikasema most of the time i do pra- if any practical na fanya designs mm-hmm. so i had to come here ni kuja jeri then mzazi akakubali so been jeri and i like what i am doing mm-hmm. and uh, i have passion on it wow so but i hope uko sawa i hope you just okay Sindor. i'm really okay mm-hmm. and uh, i can't wait to see myself mm-hmm. doing something and labeling my name or my brand mm-hmm. saying that mtu akipita na jo eh that's my mm-hmm. brand mm-hmm. yeah so tukizungumzia hapo hivyo uko ushago maisha ilikuwaaje ushago ushago mm-hmm. actually nilikuwa nimezea ushago sana mm-hmm. sana like uh, mimi hata sikuwa na ile like ni kuja Nairobi ku stay mm-hmm. i was a girl who grown up since i was a young girl mm-hmm. and in shago when i finished my form 4 i had some connection because it make uko sana so after i finished my form 4 in 2019 mm-hmm. i joined i used to go na library they used to de- to participate in a debate when we were still in school mm-hmm. so after my form 4 i joined that library ilikuwa ni tosai the library community mm-hmm. so i joined there as a librarian mm-hmm. at my after my so mko kujituma kutoka sisi finished form 4 Mm-hmm. and again corona kakuja watoto wakasema ile social distancing mm-hmm. so i had to stop go to the library mm-hmm. so nikaanza kufanya kazi ya marketing ya loan so i was doing with a company called platinum credit limited mm-hmm. and it was a marketing business mm-hmm. and it was good that's the best job i ever done before i started doing this it was i could earn my own money mm-hmm. I, i used to look like a classic girl but i was still young eh hey, jinaelewa <laughs> Yeah so I used to like the job then mm-hmm. all of a sudden something happened on that job tell us Ganyo mm-hmm. I had some issue with the boss like some people like you are so close with the boss mm-hmm. do it wasn't nothing like unanangata kwa shule ki perform kama wewe sio perform na kuanga very close na teacher si ndio so ile ni kuanga like class teacher yeah so that one ni kuanga very close so what wakaanza kusema ati mimi naike ourselves I don't do my own sales so to an sales it used to hurt me to an extent that I had to go to another branch to prove people that see you mtu ndo alikuwa ananiekea so sales I go to another branch uko pia nikapata nilikuwa na siko na ile courage na zaishi peke yangu nikasema I can't live alone so vile mkuja kwa hii branch nyingine itakuwa very difficult acha tu mirudi nyumbani so that's how I got the job yeah Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, umesema kwamba hii hii tailoring kwako mm-hmm. ni passion. Uh, ni nini apart from tailoring? Ni kitu gani ambao ulikuwa unasema kwamba I just want to be that stuff. Nataka kufanya ile career. Nataka kuwa maybe daktari, mwalimu hizo. Uliwahi uliwahi kuwa nayo matamani ya kweli? Yeah, my yeah. dream job was be a uh, cabin crew. I used to like that so much mm-hmm. that I tried to apply when I finished my form 4 but it failed several times I give up nikasema I can't do anything else by myself mm-hmm. apart from that mm-hmm. or I'll get it soon or maybe as time comes mm-hmm. you know I'm still going I'm like now I'm still 22 mm-hmm. I think I can still do that mm-hmm. but I have passion on tailoring mm-hmm. and I'll stick on it up to the time it will take me na tumenye ulikuwa unatoka pale nyumbani ushago mama alikubali story na tailoring unajua wazazi wengi sana pale nje wanasema kwamba tailoring carpentry si kazi so kwako mama kwa alikubali kweli ya yeah, mama ngo alikubali but babangu ndo akukubali mm-hmm. alisema yeah, pia alikuwa anataka niende hiyo cabin crew mm-hmm. so akubali so alikuwa like how can i give up on something that i've not even started mm-hmm. so mama ngo akaniambia fata kituro yako inataka mm-hmm. so i had to go nika nikakuja nairobi nikasema i'll do it mm-hmm. na nitaonyesha naweza fanya and is something better si ati kwa watu nye unajua uh, wanachukulia ngatere ling watu je soma like it's just something tunaangukia tu mm-hmm. but it's it proves it's something good mm-hmm. yeah and na ni masaibu gani ambao unapitia hapa kwa daughters of kenya history na tailoring in this mm-hmm. I don't think I got any problem yet yeah. so far. Ni kazi gani ambayo iko sangi challenges? Acha hii yangu iko na challenge. Naweza pata tunaongea na Mike already liko isha zima kitambo. <laughs> mhm. So yako ni gani? 
mine. Mm -hmm. This one will be a forcing one. And it, it's not that really challenge. Mm -hmm. But nile sometimes unakosa material, unakuja shule the whole day unambua. You can't do anything because of a fabric. Mm -hmm. That's the only challenge. But I think my parents pay, so it's rare you find out that I don't have a fabric to do something with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, so sasa so, ndo so, nimeelewa. Huku wazazi wanalipa. That's why you are being trained. Mm -hmm. Lakini tuseme kwamba mimi ni ni mteja, nimekuja na nataka unishonee. Na ni umeshona, si boss ameshona ama mwenye alikuwa anakufunza. Mm -hmm. So watakupata hizo hela ama zitaenda kwenye shule. Asitenda kwenye shule. Acha, mm -hmm. anataka ngo fry yake tumefanya. Mm -hmm. Saka wewe ndo umeshona, kama ni mteja umemshonea, wewe ndo utakula tu pesa zako mm -hmm. and you are best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yaani ndio ku motivate at least ukishona kitu mteja chukue alafu upate hizo do i think it motivates you and you feel so good mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. yeah. so as a tailor can you tell us your daily routine yes. daily routine ndo ufike kazini vile adu unamaliza masamba unafanya kazi mm -hmm. for me i wake up at six in the morning i do the house calls mm -hmm. then i prepare tea for myself for my parents also they go to work mm -hmm. then i come to school by nine by nine, I take through my lessons mm -hmm. up to one. Mm -hmm. Then I go back home by one. Then continue with my mm -hmm. things like me for your online studies here sometimes. Yeah. Sunaji to my mama, and you're just 22 years old. Na kunalo enyo ako 30 na wajitumi. So as we are just winding up, unajua kwa kila career na kwa kila passion, unapatoa kamba lazima wena mentor. We mentor wa kukuwa tela ni nani? Cotillary. Mm -hmm. Cotillary. I don't have a matter of tillary. Then you are boss. <laughs> then you are teacher. <laughs> okay, from that, mm -hmm. I have an auntie who is doing modeling. Modeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? things she made. Mm -hmm. But I never put it on mind that she's my mentor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are, you, you are a mentor your own self, Sindo. Yeah. So to Kimalizia, Nataka what advice wale vijana ambao wako pale nje ambao wako awajenda shuleni ama they, they, they are just saying university kwenda university na kwenda college ndo kila kitu. But hawajui through this tailoring unaweza jilipia rent, unaweza kwa unaweza fanya nini being classic yourself. Eh, sebu wa rushe advice moja tukimalizi. Uh, for me, I can tell my fellow guys, like colleagues, ama oh, when you're caught in the, maybe you're just there, like some women get caught bad on angoja. Ile na play to ile cabin crew and they throw saying get caught still bad on meka na angoja, but I'm still doing something. And some women as a shona bags, news, but the time na angoja, maybe as a pata still something is improved if you go pay in from my dream job but still this is my dream uh, please don't just sit there with someone and go to university maybe you never go there mm -hmm. no you end up at your 40 having nothing to do mm -hmm. and you have your hands your legs your mind so you just be there mm -hmm. please do something <laughs> thank you so much for your time uh, director kids it's just the continuation of the story. I'm about to talk to more about these daughters of Kenya. What are you doing? daughters of Kenya? I was explain to you because I was a rafi. 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 So I was a rafi. I anataka kufunza wasichana mm -hmm. yeah since wale wasichana wenye maybe hawajiwezi nikakuna mimi sijiwezi si nilipenye ile mali za form 4 mm -hmm. ikaishia hapo sikuwa na ma, na ma, nini pesa ya kuendelea mbele unaona mm -hmm. so nika nikasema tuachana mimi nifanye nini join ni join last last year mm -hmm. tukaendelea na tukaendelea nao mpaka sasa hivi mm -hmm. ya yeah, imenisaidia sana by the way uh -huh. yeah. na kwa wale ambao wanatazama wanataka kujua daughters of kenya in entail nini ni nini unaweza waambia yeah like mm -hmm. sija kupata vizuri oh uh -huh. nataka ni waeleze daughters of kenya ni nini haswa wow 
bado hujanipata haya doctors of kenya si ni, ni, ni wakati mnafunza mnafunza wasichana juna tailoring ni shule Yeah. Aha, hiyo sana nataka ueleze. So ni shule tunafunza wasichana ambao wenye hawajiwezi pale nje, mm -hmm. unaona? Wajiwezi huko. Wao na pesa za kuendeleza masomo yao mm -hmm. like young mothers. Unapata msichana mdogo ambaye alipata mtoto akiwa shule. Sasa hizi endelea na ana hiyo uwezo wa kuendelea sawa. Tunawaleta, tunawafunza. Mm -hmm. At least sasa watapata kukimu maisha yao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, truth through of Kenya. Aha. Uh -huh. Sasa umerada swali langu si nivo. Aha. Uh -huh. Sasa wakati nilikuwa nazungumza na ule wa kwanza, aliniambia kwamba yeye mamaka anamlipia karo hapa kwenye shule. Lakini wewe unaniambia kwamba wewe mnaenda pale nje ama mtu yote tu anaweza kuja mkuje mmsaidie kumfunza. Mtamfunza vipi na wakati halipi karo. So aha kama watu kama hao ambao hawana place ya kutoa school fees, mnawasaidia vipi? Um, umesaidia tu mtu kwa sababu kama mtu hana uwezo uwezi mtu pa nje kwa sababu wewe una pesa ya kunilipa nikufunze utamsaidia hata mimi sikuwa na pesa nilisaidiwa pia mimi nitasaidia mwingine mimi mimi mwenyewe nilisaidiwa pia kama mzazi akona 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 uwezo wa kusaidia mtoto wake aujafunzwe ni sawa pia ya analeta anamleta anafunzwa ya unajua kufunza mtu kitu kwanza tailoring si kazi rahisi ni nini ambayo ina keep going kila siku yani unajembea kwamba mimi huyu akikuja lazima nitamfunza huyu akikuja hata kama hashiki leo kesho bado mimi nitaendelea kumfunza ni nini ambayo inaendelea kukumotivate unaendelea kuwafunza ya niko like sasa mimi ni mimi aswa ya mimi nimetoka background you know so naelewa wafika kenye mtu anapitia so hiyo kitu mwenye nilipitia maisha yangu ya nyuma ikuwa mzuri sana sasa nikifikiria hivyo naona ule msichana pia anapitia the same same thing naona so na naendelea tu kuwa na hiyo roho ya kusaidia kila mtu mwenye nitaweza kusaidia yeah tukiingilia maisha yako kidogo tu nataka utuambie just in a second nini hicho ambacho ulipitia pale nyuma now nili nilikuwa shule nika nikakuwa raped ya nilipitia hiyo nini kunajisewa nilikuwa naishi na watu ambao wani yani maisha tu mbaya ya yeah, so nikapata bahati mbaya so nikaendelea tu nikamaliza tu shule but niko na mtoto yeah, so baba mtoto hayuko na mimi na ikabidi tu ni Come here, come here, come here, come here. Mm. Unajua wanasimanga kwamba mwanamke lazima awe jasiri. Mwanamke lazima ajitume. Ulikuwa raped, ukapata mtoto na bado uishi na baba mtoto. Lakini sasa hivi uko wapi? Sasa hivi niishi hapa Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Unafanya nini? Uh -huh. Kila kitu nafanya mm -hmm. mwenyewe bila mtu yote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lakini kitu ambacho ulipitia na kielewa si si jambo poa. Ama director vipi? si jambo poa lakini nyewe wanaume mwache kuna kuna jinsi ovyo ovyo mbona 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 mna aha si fit aha lakini sasa hivi na nuko sawa despite what happened lakini i know it won't get you won't get over it lakini with the time itatoka ama itatoka itatoka na joy itatoka hata ni shahil mm -hmm. kwa sababu kila kitu sasa hivi inaenda poa mm -hmm. yeah. thanks tonight ali ni let haba Nashukuru sana aki. Amini saidia sana. Sana taka upati advice. Wale wanaume pale nje amba wana najisi, wana waki. Najua kuna moja amba ya tatazama. Sasa wewe mwenye unafanya unafanya mtoto wa mtu kitu kama hiyo. Jua wewe pia utakuwa na watoto na pia watafanyua kile ambacho wewe umefanyia mungine. What goes around comes around. Yeah, so tuheshimu wasichana watu watoto wa watu jamani mm -hmm. eh yeah. heshima ni utu all right so acha tuendelee to the next person ambaye naona amejificha hapa ndani director unamuona <laughs> aha amejificha hapa ndani tena sana ulikuwa unafanya ulikuwa na shona shona nini aha mambo wana kucha nani brandi otieno eh nakwambia una smile ni nini imekufresh hapo ndani hakuna <laughs> So tukina wewe pia nataka tujue your own story. Hii Daughters of Kenya uliingia vipi? Hii Daughters of Kenya. Mm -hmm. 
Mimi yenyewe eh life ijakuwa mzuri vile. Tell me, nini nili happen? Nimaliza form 4. Mhm. Jue yenyewe hapo ndo nanga mzazi. Mhm. Ara ten bobu na kosa. Ju at least shule kuna pewa hata pocket money ni ni nini lakini home we mama kwa na na sasa ni mkubwa ni ni nini haizika kusaidia pe ujitafutie sasa lakini sasa mimi kwa nasikia hii ruma ya daughters of kenya nasikia tu watu wakisema sema sasa ndo lilika mingine ka jaribu nikajipata tuko wewe huko unalipa karo huko mama bado ndo analipa eh na hii mambo na tailoring kwako ni passion ni talent ama ni nini eh mimi nimeipenda tu juu kuna besti yangu mwingine yenyewe eh alikuwa anangara <laughs> niko na pia mimi acha nikam nijaribu yenyewe mm. nimeipenda mm-hmm. juu eh kitu nilikuwa natika nifanya after form 4 mm-hmm. ilikuwa nini yezi kwa hii usidanganye <laughs> nilikuwa natika nifanye medicine medicine oh uh-huh. but eh mago kwenda vizuri mhm akache zile kitu acha kafanya ile kitu mm-hmm. sasa ikabidi nimekaa mkujifunza hii alafu unaona vile coronel kwa imetokea mm-hmm. sasa unaona huko ka idol pel kwa inafanya nga mtu ufikirie kuingia bad groups ni mm-hmm. nini nini mm-hmm. sasa kuna best yangu mwingine hapo mm-hmm. yenye ako ig unaweza mfollow ni designer mzuri sana anajiita nani tutamfollow house of flozy queen Uh-huh. Eh. Uh-huh. Mbesh changu mbaya yenda alinisaidia. Uh-huh. Nikajua kushona. Uh-huh. Eh, sasa inaweza shona at least inaweza jisaidia. Uh-huh. Na hii Dotas of Kenya kwako wewe haswa imekusaidia nini? Eh. Ile kitu unaweza tuseme just a day upatiwe umati wa wasichana. Uongeleshe about Dotas of Kenya kitu ambacho imekusaidia. Ni nini? Imenisaidia tu na vitu mingi kama gani? kutokuwa idol. Eh. Kama nimejibu vipi? Iko sawa. Lakini bado nafaa kutembea kwamba imekusaidia ku kupasu your passion. Hey. Si passion yako umetembea kwamba ni tailoring. Eh eh. Waambi hivyo wasidhani waona. <laughs> Aha. Sasa nataka utuambie hizi hizi vitambaa ambazo mnatumia kuzishona <laughs> fabrics. My bad fabrics ambazo mnatumia kushona hasa acha nichukue moja hapa kama hii hapa this is a very beautiful bag na nyinyi wenyewe ndio umezishona kama hii aswa hizi fabrics mnazita wapi strano aha ndio mnanua ama bosa nanua alafu analeta mnashona si bosa ananunua alafu analeta tunashona aha sasa aswa kama hii nani ameshona hapa new best yangu leo mshire nataka muitazame It is a nice bag. Mhm. This is easy passion. This is this is a talent. This kwanza tunafaa tukutane na boss wenu tuzungumze naye kidogo. Aha iko sawa. Lakini bado hata si peke yake bado kuna zingine hapa. Kuna hii hapa. Lakini material hazifanani. Mhm. Maana kuna hii na bado kuna hii. Hii ni gani? Tofauti ya hii na hii ni gani? Wewe <laughs> Nige. Si ni kitenge. Kitenge. Eh, hii ni kitenge. Uh-huh. Alafu hii na ka leather leather somehow. Uh-huh. Eh. So kati hizi mbili ni gani ambao ni rahisi kuunda muundo wake? Zote tu ni rahisi. Wewe ndio unaweza una ni ngumu juu maybe uja try. Uh-huh. Eh. Lakini ni rahisi. Unajua kitu ni ngumu before uh-huh. uanze lakini ukishajua unaona anga tu ni rahisi. Uh-huh. Eh. Aha sasa aswa kwako wewe ni masebu yapi ambayo unayapitia hapa ndani? Ah shikeni hizi. Ni masebu gani ambayo unatumia hapa ndani? Challenges. Zenye mm-hmm. mina face. Mm-hmm. Mimi kibinafsi. Kibinafsi. Wewe? Kokweli. Mhm. Sioni. Hakuna challenge ambayo una face. Hata moja. Kuna siku yote ambayo umeweka lead na na boss wako. Naona uko uko chiki huyu <laughs> huyu ako chiki huyu na collide na boss huyu si chiki <laughs> ah azi mm-hmm. <laughs> uko sawa haya so nataka utuambie in uh, some years to come unataka kufungua brand these daughters of kenya ama mm-hmm. eh hey, lazima huyu ni lazima huyu ya fashion ama tailoring zote hata ikezekana zote mhm mm-hmm.
right <laughs> so it has been great it has been amazing so kitu ambacho nimejifunza hapa ndani ni kwamba don't just sit down and wait just something to come on your table kama unataka kitu kifuate na kazi ni kazi kazi haichagui kazi haibagui kuna kuna wale watu ambao unapata kwamba wanasema tailoring ni ya wanaume tailoring ni ya wasichana peke yake carpentry unapata kwamba wanasema ni ya wanaume peke yake lakini kazi ni kazi so nataka tukimalizia nataka uambie kwa hirini bye we talk up kwamba kazi ni kazi na kazi haichagui mtu yote kazi haichagui umri kazi haichagui ama wewe ni wa kike ama wewe ni wa kiume na yale masaibu ambayo umekuwa ukiyapitia pale nyumba it is a good time for you to just erase what you have gone through kama ambapo mlisikia wakati nilikuwa nazungumza na mmoja hapa she was raped lakini sasa hivi ni binti ambaye anajitegemea kimaisha na ilibidi na ilimlazimu asahau whatever she was going through pale nyuma na ikabidi amefocus na maisha yake ni mtembei television nambari moja ambayo tutazidi kukuletea burudani tutazidi kukuletea mazungumzo amazing don't go away